Oh. oh my god. Holy shoot, cannoli wally. We have a new haircut. I'm gonna try to be uploading this video in the morning so it's actually morning time for you guys to give you guys more of an idea of what to do in your daily life of quarantine edition. So yeah, we're waking up right now. <sighs> gonna make my coffee. Um, me and my roommates have been trying not to go to the markets and grocery stores if we don't need to go. And I think we're out of coffee, but we have instant coffee and it's not good. Like, it's just not good. good. But we're trying to be smart and not go to grocery stores unless we 100% need to. Because I still have a bit of food left. I have like breakfast, lunch, and dinners. So I'll just go ahead and grab coffee when I need food as well. But um, let's go brush our teeth. Let's go do our skincare routine. Because you know, every morning, every night, we do that skincare routine all the time. And let's go make some food, make some coffee, start our day. Let's get positive. My sleeping schedule has been 100% ruined because of quarantine i'm blaming it on quarantine it's 11 o'clock right now and i'm just starting my day oh my god okay huh. anyways <laughs> took my mask off let's go let's get up let's all right we're in my bathroom now and as i was checking my phone really quick thank god i'm semi-organized during this quarantine lifestyle because i just got notified i have a phone call meeting in 30 minutes 12 o'clock so, I'm gonna brush my teeth, do my skincare, eat, grab my coffee, and actually gonna be on a really exciting phone call meeting. If this all pushes through and follows through, this is gonna be a really cool opportunity and I can't wait to share it with you guys if, if it's something. I brushed my teeth and I washed my face off camera. I don't want to spend too much time on my skincare in this video because I already have like one or two videos describing my exact skincare routine. So they're both from Philosophy. This one is just like your regular facial cleanser. And then this one is one to two times a week. It's a micro delivery exfoliating facial wash. It's really good, really bomb. Heaven. I do my toner from Ennis. Focus, it's almost gone. Oh, and then I do my Ennis serum. It's a daily refining serum. It's really bomb, really good, really refreshing. Then I use this eye, eye roller green tea thing to like wake up my eyes. And then this lotion from Drunk Elephant. Really good, focus, focus. And I just got a package from a new company called Sinaj. I don't know how long they've been around, but they're new to me. And um, I just added their hydrating mist to my routine. It's really good, it has rose, ginseng, did I say it right? An elderflower. So yeah, I'm gonna do all of that off camera really quick and then I'll meet you in the kitchen. I thought you said you were gonna sunbathe some, some with me. Today. I will. Oh, okay. Just because I go once doesn't mean I can't go again. Okay, so like I said, we're trying to be smart with quarantine, so we're living off instant coffee. It's pretty depressing, but. It is depressing, actually. And then now I'm just adding oat milk. Ben's loser. All right, taste test for this instant coffee Why recipe. Is that, huh? Nothing. All right, taste test for this instant coffee, the recipe that Quincy. Got me. <laughs> it's actually not bad. To me, that tastes like Starbucks. Yeah. It tastes like. Whoa, that's the thing. Starbucks iced coffee is instant. It's already. We just Did mix you know it. That? Ben told me that the other day. That's the real sense that I kept saying it tastes like Starbucks. Because we don't. Like, right when I worked there, we didn't blend it or anything. All right, we just got done with the phone call meeting. It went good. It went popping. It was good. It was popping. Just made a bomb breakfast. Look at that. Tortilla, salsa, y todo. Andale, wey. Vente a comer, mi niño. Vente a comer, mi niño. Niña, andale, andale, andale. All right. Oh, okay, I don't know if I need to apologize for what I just said. I don't know what got into me. I just started speaking a second language. I started just speaking my grandma's way of speaking to me when breakfast is ready every morning. I don't know. Maybe I just missed my grandmother. Is that okay? You know, we're in quarantine. I just missed my family and that should be enough. Okay. I don't need to apologize even if I need to. No, I don't need to. Okay. I'm going to go watch Trish Pace really quick. I'll be right back. Hey guys, we just got done eating a bit ago. Took a little chill pill, watched some YouTube. There's Candace. Hey, do we go? As you know, we're also in quarantine and we're still trying to maintain a nice golden body for the summer. So we're going to our roof right now. We're not even allowed to be on our roof. 
but Hopefully our landlord's not watching this video. Landlord, if you're watching this, I'm sorry, but we hop this fence every day to tan. This is our version of summer in LA right now because of quarantine. And this is how we hop. Oh my god, Ben, what are you doing? I fall on camera. <laughs> And it's actually not that much of a bad view. Like we got palm trees, we got the sun. This is vacation at its finest on the roof. Okay, one thing I will apologize for is this really, really, really dumb conversation that me and Candace had in the sun on the rooftop. I don't know what we were talking about. I don't know, you guys haven't seen it yet, but I just wanna apologize in advance that this entire conversation is just really dumb, really not necessary, but I just felt the need to add it in so you can maybe laugh at it. And if it's not funny, I just apologize. I really apologize for this one. I'm so sorry. We've been doing this for about three hours now. I'm kidding, no, it's been like probably 12 minutes. Yo, we are such complainers. I know. I just I saw a bird fly into me, but then it disappeared. I think that's you seeing stars. <laughs> oh yeah. I look so white right now. And I Do you actually look white or is it just because we can't see? Like, no, I think I'm this close to the camera and I can't see right now. Oh, would you look at that? We even got homemade fans. What's up? We're in my room, we're gonna do a workout. So the next thing is I try to do abs every day and cardio and the list goes on, but today we're probably just gonna try to do abs. First one, and you lift one leg up and then just do it. <sighs> next I do like this little, I don't even know what it's called, just do it 10 times and four sets of everything. You ready? And keep your legs up on the floor. Don't ever place them on the floor. I'm already dying. The next one is this. I literally just grab my weight. Here, I'll go back so you can see. Lift my legs up and just go back and forth. 15 times, four sets of this too. Okay, next we're gonna do a plank for 60 seconds and then add a little twist at the end of it. I think they're called planks, but you know what I mean when I do it, so here we go. Next is push-ups, and when you do the push-ups, don't put your elbows like that. Try to keep them in. They're more difficult to do, but if you start with three, if you do five, it's still better workout than this, so let's do it. Just like that, we done. I also get so red when I work out. I am gonna continue doing three more sets of everything I showed you. But yeah, I encourage you to do those things. And you're, if you're born in quarantine, it gives you something to do. And it keeps you fit, athletic, drink your water, eat healthier. I'll see you in a few when I'm done with my workout. All right, life update. I sat on my phone for two hours and I wish I could tell you something more interesting about what I did or how I spent the last two hours, but I literally spent two hours on my phone doing nothing. I don't even remember what I was looking at. And two hours passed by, just like that. So I got up, realized that I was wasting my time. Hey, I'm, I'm looking at the viewfinder. So what did I do? I just made myself a bath and I am gonna read my new book that I just got in the mail. It's called What We Talk About When We Talk About Love by Raymond Carver. So pretty much this book is just a bunch of short stories put together. And a lot of them are kind of wicked and weird, but starts with love or like someone's version of love. It's just so weird. It's not as just like sweet and daddily da -da -da -da, like I thought it was, but it's still so good. And so far, it is bomb. That's all I gotta say about this book. It's not what I expected and it's probably even better than what I thought it was gonna be. Anyways, okay, let's hop in the bath. I'm gonna read, relax, take my time, da da da. And yeah. Wow, let's just say I spent the last three to four hours investigating and doing research and just watching Netflix documentaries on aliens and YouTube videos on aliens. And then I got into like this crime documentary and then watched that two part series. So yeah, that's what I did. I got distracted by technology for the past two to three hours and that's literally all I did. So now I'm gonna go to bed, sleep, Let's hope for good dreams. End of story. Good night. Love you. See you soon. Okay. Night.